Hi everyone, welcome to How to Triathlon. Um, so I have a lot of interest about um, using the iPhone E2 app to upgrade um, the firmware on the bikes uh, or just basically connecting um, to the um, the i2 system. So here I'm just going to do a video where I'm going to do an update on the firmware. Um, so this is a trail speed uh, Shimano Altegra R8150 um, the i2 system. And back here, um, you can see um, the button for um, for connecting, uh, for basically um, operating the radio railway. So if I press this once, we say that's green, battery is good, and then it will flash this twice to show that I'm in synchronized uh, shift mode one. Um, so now I've, let me fire up the um, E2 app here. So, so here I got the eTube app and I'm just going to press the plus button to say connect to bike. And then I, this is the tricky part. I have to hold the button so that it, uh, it would just keep flashing blue. So let me give it a try. Okay, right, so this is uh, good. So it's flashing, so I hold it just briefly. It's flashing now, um, it's detected. So I'm then going to click on it. Um, and then I'm just you know, going to now switch to um, the app so we can see how we do the firmware update. So first is connecting to the derailleur through Bluetooth and this part is always taking its time. All right, so here we go. Uh, so it confirms that um, no, it detects all the system in my DI2. I click OK. And now I'm going to look at updates, right? Um, it's going to search for firmware. And here it shows that uh, there's update available um, for both my front and rear derailleur. And I believe um, you can actually, so I can select both of them here and say update. And here you can click on notice to see what is actually changed in that firmware. Oh, actually this is not a notice about the firmware. It's just some general notice about, um, about updating. Um, so basically say, don't try to run any other apps. Just stick with this app and until the upgrade is completed. Um, so I'm going to click on this again, and I'll say update. Right, so they say do not turn off the phone, and let's see how it goes, right? So now it's updating the, the rear derailleur. Oh wow, it is super slow. <laughs> and I think this is the part I'm feeling a little bit uneasy because I don't know whether I should always like touch something on the screen to keep it um to keep the app the app active or is it already doing that? So yeah, so definitely compared to um upgrading the firmware with a direct connection um, through the, the, the PCE O2 um, USB unit, which I also put a link here on the side if you're interested to check that out. I feel like this is a lot slower. And interestingly, um, maybe I should just uh, look up what was changed on the, the, um, the recent versions because I did this update maybe two maybe three months ago in the um probably like in march 2023 and i thought at that time i'm, I'm sure at that time i upgraded to the latest but looks like somehow my um rear derailleur has a higher version than the front and now with this update it will bring both to 410 so i'm not sure what i'm missing out um in the in the front derailleur and instead of having you all wait here i'm just going to speed up the remaining part of this video until the upgrade is done
Okay, so now we are at the um, final um, 10%. Okay, so the rear derailleur is done. Let's see if I can turn off the flash here, but I can't. Um, okay, so um, it's probably doing some verification to make sure that the firmware is good before we move on to the front derailleur. Um, Okay, looks like it's completely done and now it's working on the front. Uh, but I don't see any um, kind of indicator showing that it is um, done. So uh, no no LED flashing or anything like that. Um, the interesting part about the ready variable is that it takes a long time to get to 40%. And, but once it get there, the remaining part is super fast. Um, so now let's wait for the front derailleur um, to finish. All right, so the front derailleur is finishing up the last 10%. And compared to the wear, it's, it's a lot more linear. Uh, it seems to be moving a little bit faster on the firmware update um, and uh, took about, I think, two to three minutes to finish updating the front derailleur. All right, and it is completed. So this is how you update the firmware um, using the iPhone E2 app. Interestingly, I think last time I actually updated the firmware, as you can see here. Um, oh, actually not here, but I think um, just a while back, I updated the firmware off the battery. So even the battery itself has firmware, I find it quite interesting. One quick thing that I noticed after the firmware update is that the shift mode is set back to manual. So if I press the button here, you can see flash the screen. So battery is good. And then the shift mode is manual. So I'm going to go uh, again and just press twice um, to change the shift mode to uh, synchronize one. So you can see here, I press again, one, one press, battery is good. And now double flashes means I'm in synchronize, uh, synchronize uh, shift mode one. So um, just something you may want to notice after the firmware update, it did reset the configuration. Um, so that's all I have. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.